Welcome to Grays Arbor College. This is Patrick Martin, math faculty, and the purpose of this video is to help you understand the various math requirements for different degrees. This chart shows all of the math pathways at Grays Arbor College. You can see the prerequisites for each math class and find the sequence of math classes you may need. For example, if you placed into math 60, arithmetic, and you're interested in nursing, you need to take math 60, 70, 97, then 146, introduction to statistics. If you place into math 70, and your goal is elementary education, you need to take math 70, 97, then math 131 and 132, math for elementary education. If you placed into math 60 and your goal is an associate degree in human services, you can take math 60, 70, and then math 101, applications of algebra for vocational technical students. It is best to complete your math requirements in your first year of college if possible. So please start your math classes early and take math each term until you reach your last class. There are generally three types of degrees you might be interested in. Um, Two-year workforce degrees, AAS, Associate of Applied Science, four-year STEM degrees, BS, Bachelor of Science, and four-year non-STEM degrees, BA, Bachelor of Arts. For non-STEM bachelor degrees, there are a range of options. There's Math 107, Math 146, Math 131, 132, and Math 111, 148. You can see all specific requirements by going to ghc.edu, then areas of study, then degrees and certificates. For example, let's take a look at the most common transfer degree, the Associate in Arts Direct Transfer Agreement. I'm gonna scroll down and have a look at the prerequisites on the course list. The quantitative skills requirement is your math requirement. You just need five credits, but please pick a math class that aligns with your future bachelor's degree. If you're interested in elementary teaching, please take Math 131 and Math 132, Mathematics for Elementary Education. If you're interested in business, uh, it would be good to aim for business calculus, math 148. If you're interested in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, you'll probably need calculus two or three. <laughs> if you're interested in nursing or social science or perhaps psychology, you'll probably need math 146 statistics. And then for bachelor of arts degrees in arts, humanities, criminal justice, and more, you can take math 107, math in society. The actual content you will be studying in these math classes is quite different. Each class is designed for different degrees and different careers. For example, if you're planning to teach math to children, please take Math 131 and 132. These courses are specifically designed to prepare the prospective K-8 teacher to understand elementary school mathematical concepts taught from kindergarten through eighth grade. If you're planning to get a bachelor's degree in the area of business, please take Math 111, Finite Math, and Math 148, Business Calculus. For example, this bachelor's degree in accounting at Washington State University requires Finite Math and Business Calculus in the second year. GHC's Math 111 and Math 148 will transfer as equivalent to Math 201 and Math 202 at WSU. Speaking of a bachelor's degree in business, our Associate in Business Direct Transfer degree, ABDT, will set you up for a smooth transfer to many business-related bachelor programs. Let me show you, area of study, degrees and certificates, Associate in Business, Direct Transfer, and then take a look at the prerequisites and course list here. Math 111, Math 148. Math 146 statistics 
counts as the math requirement for a bachelor's in nursing, in human services, psychology, forestry, and many more areas. Math 107, Math and Society, is designed for a bachelor's in liberal arts, majors in humanities, arts, criminal justice, and more. For a STEM degree, you will probably need Calculus 2 or Calculus 3. STEM means science, technology, engineering, or math. For example, engineering degrees at the University of Washington require Calculus 3. Their Math 126 is equivalent to our Math 163 Calculus 3. Speaking of STEM degrees, our Associate in Science transfer degrees will set you up for a smooth transfer to the third year of a bachelor's program. Associate in Science Track 1 prepares you for these areas. Associate in Science Track 2 for these areas. It is best to meet with your advisor to get a full educational plan that will lay out all of the courses you need. Different workforce degrees have different math requirements, either Math 100, Math 101, or BA 104. Math 100 for the trades, Math 101 for Associate of Applied Science in Human Services, Criminal Justice, and more. BA 104, Math for Business, for Accounting, Business, and more. You can see all specific requirements by going to ghc.edu, then areas of study, then career technical education degrees. For example, to get an Associate of Applied Science in Business Management, let's go here, here, have a look at the course list. We need Math for Business. Again, it's best to meet with your academic advisor and get a full educational plan. Your educational plan will be tailored to your specific needs. Here's an example. It will lay out the terms, fall, winter, spring, summer, and the sequence you can take all of the courses you need to get your degree. 